This video starts with a good example of the classic technique for placing a unique LMA. All the air has been removed from the LMA cuff and it has been lubricated on its palatal surface. The head is extended and the operator uses a thumb and first finger technique for opening the mouth. The LMA device is taken in the opposite hand with the first finger placed between the barrel and the cuff of the LMA. The tip of the LMA is placed into the patient's mouth and immediately against the hard palate. The vector force of the operator's hand using that first finger between the barrel and the cuff is directed towards the palate and the LMA device and the finger is inserted deeply into the airway until resistance is met. The LMA cuff is now inflated. After placement of this particular LMA, the patient could be ventilated, but a significant leak was appreciated. The operators decided to use a flexible intubation scope to examine the position of the LMA. Here we see that the distal end of the LMA has not passed below the larynx under the cricoid cartilage, but is actually sitting within the vocal folds. This laryngeal mask airway was removed and reinserted. There was no leak appreciated and inspection revealed a very good placement.